spacing's a different kind of game, but you have the ability to get close, but you get hurt more yeah. for getting close. It, it's tough. But here we're going to see Ned on Sephiroth versus level 40 Raichu playing the Piranha Plant. So this is uh, Chicago versus St. Louis right now. Yep. Uh, level 40 Raichu, actually a uh, pretty mainstay at some con tournaments in the past. I remember seeing them at uh, Mason pretty much year in and year out okay. during the Smash 4 days. I uh, forgot what character that they played. Um, back in Smash 4, but they are on plant now. I've seen a lot of their plant play. It's, it's really fun. I like watching this character. Any, I like watching plants. Any character that's like nutty, like the, the Minecraft Steves, the plants. Yeah, the Min Mins. The <laughs> I, I like watching because it, it, it's very much a character that's in the spirit of Smash Brothers, where it's like, yeah. it's ridiculous, but it's fun to watch. And then on the other side of that coin, we have Chicago's brightest, Ned on the Sephiroth, jumping a lot between, uh, he's been kind of, Staying Sephiroth, I would say, for the most part, Ooh. and right there, using that big sword for his advantage. Yeah, see, that's the one. Uh, that's the one adva uh, advantage that Sephiroth's going to have in this matchup is that uh, off stage, uh, Plant doesn't really have a whole lot of options to contest with the massive hitboxes that uh, Sephiroth can just kind of put off stage. And oh, oh no! That's just an unfortunate little SD there. Just not enough space to start that up B. Right, up tilt. Gets the stage control back. Yeah, keeps kidding. I heard Sephiroth in the headset, and I thought someone was talking to us. So I was like, oh, man. I will say one thing, though. Uh, Raichu has been doing a really good job in not letting Ned get the full extent of his combos. He's either been TIing out or spot dodging well. He's not letting Ned do everything that Ned can do. Which say, is impressive. That is the one advantage that Plant has, is that uh, Plant can have a lot of moments where they can just kind of break out of stuff when yeah. you least expect it. And they also, not only do they break out of stuff, but uh, Plant can also uh, use that to their advantage and also kind of get back neutral in certain situations. Now, obviously, it's not every situation, but in most situations, it ends up not only working out in their favor, but also giving them an advantage to take back. Yeah. Oh my god, that was such a great spot dodge. That's what I'm saying. He's just kind of keeping Ned at bay. I mean, granted, he's losing the game right now, but I would be interested to see what a game two looks like. All right, back on stage. I like that. He's starting to realize that uh, Ned's been really catching uh, Raichu as he's been uh, coming up on the uh, below. Yeah, just like right here. So, he's kind of hiding his recovery, which is nice. See, that, that's the thing with Plant's recovery. You got to look, know how to steer it. If you're really adept at piloting Plant in the up B, oh, okay. The there. So, so like, yeah, that down B, it's low key really scary because uh, if that hitbox, you hit it, it hurts a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a ton of damage, but one thing he's been using it for effectively is cover to uh, charge up that, that bite, as well as to uh, hide how his up B is going, and Ned with an SD there. Oh, but gets back on, <laughs> catches Raichu jumping, and that'll be first game going to Ned. <laughs> Raichu putting up one heck of a fight there. Um, like a... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna get an announcement coming there, taking yeah. care of it. But while we're doing that, yeah. I mean, so game two I'm about, these guys. I'm about to say, so far, I love how Raichu has been very, very patient with uh, with with uh, their neutral. Yeah, I, uh -huh. I like to say that even in no matter what was happening, always was keeping on the defensive mindset and right. all, and was not like afraid of getting in Ned's face at the same time. Yeah, that's that's something that I mean, it's something to be said. I mean, Raichu's an excellent player, but it's something to be said when you are going up against, I mean, quite literally, a PGR player. There's a different kind of mindset that it takes a while to get over that hump. When you're an excellent player, but you're kind of gatekeeped by PGR level people, there's that mindset. You have to get that one win, that game win. You have to show that they can bleed. That's like Iron Man, right? Pretty much. <laughs> if you make a god bleed, they'll choose the uh, forget believing in him, but. Um, we need to see him do that here in game two. There's plenty of Smash left to be playing a best of five oh, yeah. set. Uh, and that's that's honestly the, the, the advantage of best of five in this game is that you have plenty of time to adapt and plenty of time to get your game plan going. All right, so let's see what happens. So game two, going to small battlefield. I'm jamming right now. This song is going off. I mean, this is nice. I, I like music counterpick. I, I, I'm so glad that Small Battlefield has the access to the entire soundtrack. Yeah, 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 that's in hype. between. I can always choosing Tekken soundtracks and uh, everybody else like having their own little music counterpicks. It's nice. I like it. Go. 
yeah. If, if he doesn't get that little, yeah, there that, it is. If he can't put out that poison cloud, he has a tough time getting back. Matt can see where he's coming a mile and not, away. Yeah, and not only that, it's just steering around. At some point, there's only so much steering you can do before you just run out of resources. And eventually, yeah. it's like, it's it's rough, man. It, it's, it's the Saga plan. As soon as Sephiroth gets off stage, Ned just waits until the up B, and then just yeah. get him to one spot that you want, and then up, oh, there it is. There goes God doing his thing again. I mean, it's just Ned playing at optimal level. It's just the correct thing to do, right? So gets the curses, and we'll be able to... I also uh, like that Raichu has the presence of mind to use the down B as... Because that down B does have some involved frames on it, so okay. you can use it to uh, power through the uh, curse balls. Down smash. Oh, th yeah, that's... It's super rough to kind of react to that, uh, especially if you're up close to the ledge like that. Yeah. yeah, I am really impressed with Raichu's spacing. For the most part, he's staying really out of what Ned can do and shielding when he can. It's His defense is really impressive, like you were saying earlier. And speaking of spacing, let's talk about how Raichu is doing very well at positioning plant to uh, get the Fatui uh, ledge traps going. Because that forward throw, I think Ned may have been expecting a different throw there. That's why too. the DI was off. But yeah. Oh, okay, but here we go. Starting to get some stuff started. Chasing him off stage with a jab. Ned just jumps out of it cleanly. Keeping him at bay here. Oh, oh no! no! What's he going to do? What's he going to do? An up smash. Nothing fancy. Going to take that stock and move on as a professional player. And that is that. That is the thing that Ned uh, is very good at catching, is that if you are slacking in the neutral, or if it, 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 he treats down smash like an overhead in the fighting game, where okay. if you just spend too much time doing one specific thing, oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so Ned wanted to send a message there. That's, uh... <laughs> Look at this man. He's got his name on his mask. Damn. He cannot be stopped. All right, Ned. Just, just put his balls out I, there. Again, like I said, it's just, it's one of those situations <laughs> where all you can do is just stand back. Just like, oh, oh, yeah. what else did we expect? Yeah, from There Ned, goes right? God doing there his thing again. There goes God. Just dive bombing. We're going to be going into game three here. Three, Rocking the STL two, set, dude, the one, STL tag. Go. Do it for the homie. Shout out to St. Louis. I'd say all, all of St. Louis. Big homies. It's super nice, yeah. There are there are a uh, sister region out here in the Midwest. Illinois loves St. Louis. Catching him with that. Get the jab. Has him off stage. And again, and just going right back to that try. Like, again, that's one thing with uh, Raichu. They are, as soon as they get Ned off stage, they're right back into the same exact spot. They, it's like, it's as if they have it marked. And right now, doing really good with the ledge trapping. Yeah, this spacing is superb. Has pretty much all the angles covered and doing a very good job of just kind of keeping Patui in play so where Ned has to respect it, especially when coming to ledge! And that's a shield break! The answer! Baggin is going to chomp him right off the Bite roof! Bite those toes! Ah! Bite him off! And that's going to be the first time that Raichu has had a substantial lead in this set. Ned almost answers back, isn't quite able to get it, but Raichu's spacing in these ledges with these spike balls has been immaculate. Ned just also doing good to make his way back to the stage. Here we see a tense moment good here. My leg. That's not safe on shield. Oh, the extended uh, the delay on the Patui so that it was so that when Ned uh, get up attack, it just fell right on him. It's a sacrifice hit right there. Ned gonna cleanly take it with that back air, bringing it back to two stocks apiece here. About to say, Raichu's starting to pick up uh, the moments where uh, to delay the Patui when Ned is trying to go in and get the offense started. And now it's starting to get those moments where Plank can just start to break out of the offense every now and then into his favor. Tries to outer through with the down B, but not quite. Uh, Ned's also starting to pick up on that as well. Oh, the stage spike! We take those. It's a, it's a hit. It's a tricky hitbox, but it, it works. If it works, it works. <laughs> now this is where we see Ned go. All right, I'll do it myself. Yeah, on ledge. Very hard for Plant to come back in a situation like this, but Raichu manages to make it back. Back throw still on the back foot. Patui counter. Ooh. So close. Just barely weaved through it. Oh, but. 
smart stuff charging the neutral beat to the level two and have that huge hitbox just take care of everything else. And he catches him there with the bite. He sends out the two and it hits the two. Again. We're in danger. This is a good spacing. Nope. Net is net. Makes it back. That forward tilt at ledge did not reach plan. Okay, now it is. Just needed that one more step forward. He went for the chomp. He wasn't able to get it. Net with an opportunity here, but the get up attack breaks it up. He's got to watch his percent, though. Back throw. Oh, almost made the jump. Right, she's got to watch out. Recovery's going to be real. He does it again. again. And he lives. The dive bomb. Right, you just when they were getting started. That was on the, the comeback. Ned again with the dive bomb up B. That was and that's a gonna gamble. be 